this is a quick little scrap busting tutorial idea uh, quite often I have um, images and pieces that I think I would like to use but perhaps they're a bit too small or what have you so um, what I've taken to doing is creating little flips using um, die cuts and my die cut machine um, so what I do um, this one was a circle so I folded it and I made sure that the circle went beyond the fold so that when it cuts it Got two circles but they're joined by that piece of um well paper um because i'm just going to angle this hopefully you can see it. it was just such a cool picture but the top of it wasn't that interesting and i really wanted to keep that so you could then stick that onto a page in your journal or you could have it as a tuck if you liked the back of it as well and wanted to be able to look at it like that um, so I've done this with a couple of other pieces. So there's an example. That's a bit of decoupage with napkin paper. And I've added just a little piece of um, writing space there. Um, this one as well, where I really liked that scrap, but it wasn't enough to make a whole piece of something. But there again, put writing space. Um, and if it isn't long enough to get like the whole shape, you can also do something like this. So this was a tag die cut. Um, so obviously I've got the tag shape but then it folds down and again you can have writing space there you could have it fold out that way so I've just got a couple here to show you um, and like I said I have there's a heart one there but I've made sure that the cut will come after the fold squeaky squeaky And because the other side of this paper is plain, don't need to worry about putting anything there. But again, that could be stuck down somewhere. That could be a little tiny tuck in. And that's used um, a little bit of extra scrap. So all these pieces I'm using are bits of scrap. Um, this is the other one I've got. Um, this is from the Gemology pack. So again, made sure that the um, edge of the die cut is beyond the fold so I've put in the paper pop that through Oops. <laughs> pop it through really professionally so you can be in awe at how well this works <laughs> things never go to plan do they when you go me and there, from that bit of scrap, I've now got a really pretty little flip up writing space, which I can pop at this side or again, I can tuck in. Um, you could even sew or stick in some pages and make a little book look out of that. Um, or just put in like a sheet on either side for writing space. But that's just another idea if you've got die cut machine and maybe die cuts that you think god i haven't used these in ages this is just a little idea of things to do with like different pieces of paper different kinds of straps to make um flip ups flip outs tuck-ins um with a bit of extra writing space a bit more color in the journal <laughs> 